Merry Christmas! And welcome to Stephanie's Movie Reviews, the Holiday Edition. I'm your host, Stephanie Thompson. I'm a member of the Screen Actors Guild and After, AFTRA, a classically trained singer-songwriter, a vocal coach, and an actor myself. So in this uh, show, we've been talking about Christmas, one of my favorite subjects and my favorite times of year. I've been watching movies on Netflix and just enjoying them tremendously. This time, I went to the theater. That's right. I went to the theater, and I saw Daddy's Home too. Yes, sir. So first, I had to watch the original, Daddy's Home. I thought to myself, okay, I need to see the original because I need to see what this is all about. And I need to see these characters and see what the setup is and make sure that... Uh, I know what I'm getting into. <laughs> so I watched the original Daddy's Home. Hilarious. And I met Brad and Dusty. And it was really a fun movie. I have to say, again, I do not give spoilers on this show. I refuse to do so. The ending was one of my favorite things of the entire movie. So if you're not going to watch any of the movie... <laughs> watch the ending it was delightful and so clever uh they did reference things that happened in the first movie in the second movie so if you want to see the second movie and really understand all of the dynamics that are going on you need to see the first movie first so i'm glad i did see the first movie okay so we're getting to the second movie. The first movie, we have uh, Brad and Dusty. They're two co-dads. Brad is the new stepdad. Dusty is the dad. And they're trying to find footing with each other as far as their relationships with the kids and the mom. And it's a little difficult. And there's a lot of tension. And there's a lot of rivalry and all sorts of things. But they get it worked out by the end of the first movie, right? Well, in Daddy's Home 2, the dads of the two dads come into picture, come into the play. We have John Lithgow, who's Brad's dad, who's loving and kind and sweet and everyone just want to get along. And then we have Dusty's dad, played by Mel Gibson, who just wants to stir the pot and create chaos and mayhem. And stir it he does and cause it he does. So he decides that these dads are getting along far too well. So he decides, okay, I'm going to take everybody on this great ski vacation. So he gets this big cabin for everyone, takes them away on a vacation, hoping, just hoping that something will happen while they're gone that will create problems between the two dads. And, of course, it does, with hilarious results. And they reference things that happen in the first movie. Oh, well, you did such and such. Remember, you did that and that. And you did this and this to me. And, and they start bringing up old baggage and everything. And it starts getting really wicked. <laughs> and then we bring in John Cena, who is the stepdad uh, or who's the dad of Mark Wahlberg's stepdaughter. So then that creates more chaos for Mark Wahlberg. So it's just it's just a fun, hilarious movie. And watching Mel Gibson, you know, I really enjoy watching Mel Gibson. He's he's really fun. And he just is probably enjoying the heck out of his role in this movie because he's just playing being a scamp and he's loving every minute of it and uh mark Wahlberg and uh will ferrell are just great together they have great chemistry and the kids are cute what can i say they're cute kids so i just really loved the movie i thought it was fantastic and i gave it four and a half popcorns I recommend you to see it, but I do recommend you to see the first one first so you can understand all the dynamics of everything going on. When we come back, we are going to talk about a bad mom's Christmas just after this commercial break. Are you frustrated and wasting time searching for high-quality education and entertainment and not finding it? 
Stop wasting your time. We've got your solution. Our three dynamic and unique online TV shows provide you with high quality and easy to find content. Everything from business skills and self-development to book and movie reviews and everything in between. At akexpertstv.com, you'll find high quality experts in their field. In one place, at no cost to you. Visit www.akexpertstv.com today. Welcome back. I'm Stephanie Thompson. I'm your host. And we're going to talk about a bad mom's Christmas. So I went and saw again a bad moms because I wanted to remind myself what the first one was all about and I'm glad I did because it kind of reminded me about the characters of Akiki, Carla and Amy played by Mila Kunis, Kristen Bell and Katherine Hahn. So in the first one they kind of take over the PTA because that it's being run by an evil woman Chris, played by Christina Applegate but in this one, they want to take back Christmas because their moms descend upon them and are kind of trying to be the establishment and say, no, this is how Christmas is going. And the Kiki, Carla, and Amy are saying, no, we want to do Christmas our way. So there's this conflict going back and forth. Now, the moms are played by wonderful, wonderful actresses. We have Amy's mom, played by Christine Baranski. We have uh, Kiki's mom, played by Cheryl Hines. And we have Carla's mom, played by Susan Sarandon. What an ensemble. What a cast. It was fantastic to watch them work. First of all, Amy, played by Mila Kunis, is wonderful to watch with Christine Baranski as her mom. Christine Baranski was like the ice queen in this movie. She was so perfect and so refined and so well, regal and everything like that, everything she did. And here Mila Kunis is, like, she's, like, all over the place and messy and, you know, she's how she is in her character. And it was just so funny to watch the two of them go at it. The only thing is, is that only problem I had is, at one point, Christine Bransky decorated her house, and it was beautiful what she did with her house. It was just absolutely gorgeous. But Mila Kunis, Amy's, Amy's character, had a big problem with the way her mom decorated her house. And she was fighting her mom. And she wanted her to take it all down. Which, if it had been my mom and my mom had done that for me, I would have been really, really grateful and thankful. And I would have loved it. So I kind of had a problem with that. I think if maybe if they had done that again, they should have made it look hideous so that you could understand why Mila Kunis didn't want her house decorated that way. Because I thought it was absolutely gorgeous. So I didn't understand why she was so frustrated. But anyway, that that's just me. Anyway, uh, so then there were some montages of the girls. You know, this movie is rated R for a reason. It's not a movie to take your kids to. There are montages of the, the moms, uh, played by Katherine Hahn, Kirsten Bell, and Mila Kunis, going on these shopping sprees and doing things which they would have ended up in jail for any other situation, of course. But, of course, in this movie, they get away with it. And uh, and then you have the moms bonding with each other, Cheryl Hines, Christine Baranski, and Susan Sarandon. And that was really nice to see. And, you know, amazingly, there were some actually some really beautiful, heartfelt moments in this movie, too, which I was not expecting. So that was kind of a little treasure that was a surprise. Bad Moms Christmas. <laughs> I loved it. I highly recommend it. I gave it five popcorns. I thought it was so much fun. And you should see it. That's my recommendation. You should see it. I hope you have a wonderful, merry, merry Christmas. And we'll see you next time. I didn't focus on my weaknesses. I focused on my strength and I was able not only to lead myself, 
I was able to lead my team into success. Many people ask me, what do you mean by awakening the powerful leader within you? I have been leading myself and others for years. Well, I tell them, of course you have, but did you know that you have way more power than you can ever imagine? See, you and I, we were born with the capability to lead ourselves to live our purpose. Then life's challenges and obstacles come along and buries our capabilities. How do I know that? I know it because life happened to me. My question to you today is this. What are you creating? Now, I don't know what he was thinking. Maybe he was thinking I'm gonna download something. 